Hello everyone, welcome to this new episode of the Gemini Pentest 2 challenge. We were able to run commands on the remote server and we actually gained access to the results of those commands using our Burp collaborator. But we could not use SSH to log in as the user Gemini1 and so in this video it's all about getting that reverse shell. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is because we have no VPN, I'm going to define a listener. So netcat, and I'm going to listen on port 8888. So that's the local listener that would receive the shell. And in a new tab, I'm going to use ngrok with the TCP to redirect anything to our local port. Perfect. So that would be the new host name that we need to configure for our reverse shell. And this is the port. Next, I want to look on the internet for my favorite reverse shell. Pentester Monkey reverse shell. This is a collection of reverse shells that um, can be used. My favorite is uh, actually this one. So let's copy it, paste it right here. And I'm going to change my IP to the host name generated by ngrok. And then space and the port that is exposed to the internet. Always make sure to kill that whenever you finish the challenge. Otherwise, your port would be exposed to the internet. So that would be the command that should be run on the server in order to get a callback hopefully so if we go back to our burp repeater so instead of creating this file and uploading it etc we actually want to just run our command and that would be simply pasting that here and encoding it control u and hit sent oh okay we get an instant response meaning that somehow we generate an error or there is some kind of filter behind the scenes or anything like a WAF I'm not sure but essentially this reverse shell doesn't work well we hackers always try the path with the least resistance I'm going to use another one. Um, what about uh, maybe Perl? Yeah, why not? Let's copy that and paste it right here. This time we are going to change that in. The port number would be, uh, sorry, the IP address or the host name would be this one. And the port number would be be one four eight eight two the same one as this let's copy that and supposing that the server has Perl this should work okay I'm going to encode everything and send it Oh, it's taking some time. Perfect. Let's uh, check our reverse shell and see if we get any, if we've got any hit. Oh, okay. So we have a prompt here. Cool. As Gemini 1. Perfect. So in the next video, we're going to explore the, the server and try to understand how it works and hopefully we could escalate our privileges to a root user. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow the channel. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.